Hey class, didn't see you there. All right, what we have here is a basketball game. Sometimes you see them at the boardwalk, at a theme park, or maybe at an arcade. This is one of my favorite games to play. What's one of your favorite games to play at an arcade? Today. We're gonna to learn about place value now with our decimal. So decimal place value. If we get through our whole lesson, you're gonna find out what my number one game is. So starting off today, we're going to work on our place value. I'm going to start off with the number four. This number four is four ones. All right. So we're going to put the four right here because this is going to be our ones place. Now, if I add a number to this four and make it, let's say, 64. I have four ones, and the six is going to be our tens place. So the six is here, so that means it's our ones. The six is our tens. What do you think is going to be our next column to the left? We have our ones, tens. Let's see. Let's make this number eight. So what is this number right here? 864. Four ones, six tens, eight hundreds. So for today, we're going to get into our decimal. We're going to find out what place values are to the right of our decimal. So when we look at the first one, let's add our decimal. One place to the right is going to be our tenths place. Tenths, T-E-N-T-H-S. So if I add a number down here, let's say five, this number will be 864 and five tenths. So we'll put a five here. All right, for our next place value, one more to the right, so it's getting a little smaller. Let's say it's going to be 9. This 9 is going to be our hundredths. So it's basically 100, but with our TH, so our hundredths. And our 9 goes into our hundredths, please. So how we say this number is 864 and 59 hundredths. So we have our eight in our hundredths, six in our tens place, four in our ones place. Our decimal, one place to the right is our tenths. So we have five in the tenths. And two places to the right is going to be our hundredths place. All right, let's try to do something a little different this time. So I gave us a number up top. Our number is 147 and 38 hundredths. So now let's break down this number. I want you guys to tell me what number is in the hundreds place. What number is in the hundreds place? That's right, it's a one. Now what is the value of 100? Well, 100 equals 100. That was easy enough. Next number. What number is in our tens place? What number is in our tens place? Well, look, I remember tens place is two to the left of the decimal. We have a four. And if I have four tens, the value is going to be 40. Four tens equals 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. All right. What number is in our ones place? Our ones place. Ones place, seven. Seven ones, the value of seven ones is just seven. All right, moving on. Our tenths place. What number is in our tenths place? Good, the number three. Now, when we do the value of three-tenths, you have to add your decimal 
And then our three. Three tenths. And the last one is our hundredths place. What number is in our hundredths place? Let's look up here. We have eight hundredths. And when I write the value of eight hundredths, we have to write our decimal. This will be a zero. And this will be eight. Eight hundredths. So here is our number, 147, 38 hundredths. Here's which number is in what place value. And here's the value of each of the place values, just like this is expanded form. All right, for this problem, I drew our place value chips. We have our hundredths, we have tens, and we have our tenth chips. So when we look at hundreds, how many hundreds chips do we have? Let's see. One, two, we have three hundreds chips. How many tens chips do we have? One. And how many tenths chips do we have? Three tenths. So underneath, it wants us to write the value. Three hundredths. We know three hundred is written just like this. We have one ten. That's an easy one. We have a ten. And then we have three tenths. So that would be decimal, one, two, three. Now, 300 plus 10 plus 3 tenths. When we write our final answer, I'll have a 3 in the hundreds, a 1 in the tens place. I have no ones in this problem, so we're going to put a zero there. And then we have 3 tenths, decimal 3. Our answer is 310 and 3 tenths. All right, for our next problem, we have five of these, two of these, one of these, and six of those. I want you to tell me we have five. What place is this? Five is it hundredths, five tens, five tenths, five hundredths, five thousandths. Good, five hundredths plus, or this one is equal to what? Two, ones, tens, hundredths. Good, two ones. All right, remember our decimals now. This one is equal to one, what? Tenth. And then we're gonna finish off with our six hundredths. Hundredths. All right, now we're gonna go down to the value, expanded form of this number. So we have five hundredths plus two ones, which equals our two, plus one tenth, remember it's a decimal one, plus six hundredths, so decimal zero six. All right, now let's put this together. Let's put this all these numbers into one whole. 500 plus two plus one ten plus six hundredths. So I know I have five in the hundredths, five in the hundredths column, two in the ones column. So that means not here, because this is a tens. We have, don't have any tens. Two in the ones place. Our decimal, one tenth, six hundredths. So our answer is 502 and 16 hundredths. All right, next we're going to move on to adding and subtracting decimals. So right here we have nine and 34 hundredths plus two and one tenth. Our first step is to rewrite the problem up and down, like you would for any other addition and subtraction problem. Our second step is to line up the decimals. The first thing you can do is put my decimal here, put my decimal here, and we're adding. See how my decimals are lined up. So I could put in my 9.34, and I'm gonna add my 2.1. In this problem, 
you might see that there's no hundredths for this number. You can just easily fill that in as a zero. Now, you're going to add it just like any other problem. 4 plus 0 is 4. 3 plus 1 is also 4. And 9 plus 2 is 11. All right? 1, 1 up here. 1 plus 0 is 1. Now, the last step is going to be bring your decimal straight down. What that means is you're going to keep these decimals in a line and you're going to bring it straight into your answer. Here's our next problem, another addition problem. 1 and 5 tenths plus 8 and 3 hundredths. So the first thing we're going to do is line up our decimals and rewrite the problem. 1 and 5 tenths plus 8 and 3 hundredths. So remember, since there's nothing there, you can just write in your zero. I'd like you guys to solve this problem for me. Remember, add straight through, and when you're done, bring that decimal straight down into your answer. All right, zero plus three equals three. Five plus zero equals five. Our decimal came right down. One plus eight gives us nine. Our answer is 9 and 53 hundredths. Now for a subtraction problem. Remember, we need to rewrite the problem and we need to line up our decimals, like our addition. Addition and subtraction, we are lining up our decimals. I line them up. I write in my 8 and 2 tenths. Subtraction, 3 and 45 hundredths. Now, just like the addition, if it's 8 and 2 tenths, we could put our zero here. So it would be like 8 and 20 hundredths minus 3 and 45 hundredths. So let's add this one together. Or subtract. I apologize. 0 minus 5. Can we do 0 minus 5? If I have $0, can I pay 5? No. So we need to borrow from our 2. Cross the 2 off. Make it a 1. And then we add that 110 that we took away over to the zero. So now we can do 10 minus 5 equals 5. 1 minus 4. We can't do that. So we borrow from the 8, make it a 7. And this becomes an 11. 11 minus 4. 7. Remember to bring our decimal straight down. 7 minus 3 is 4. So our answer is 4 and 75 hundredths. The last one we have for the video today is 5 minus 3 and 5 tenths. Now this one might be a little tricky for you because there's no decimal here. So you might say when we rewrite this, how do we line up the decimals? When you have a whole number, the decimal is always going to come at the end. If you remember our place value video, our ones column is one place to the left of the decimal. So that means our decimal will be right here. So when we go to rewrite this, our decimal is there. This decimal will be right here because we are lining them up. So it will be 5 minus 3 and 5 tenths. So since our decimal is here, this would be a 0. Now when we go through and subtract, we can't do 0 minus 5. Cross the 5 off, make it a 4, and this 0 becomes a 10. Now when you do 10 minus 5, it will give us 5, and the 4 minus 3 will give us 1. Don't forget our last step is we bring our decimal straight down. 5 minus 3 and 5 tenths will give us 1 and 5 tenths. My all-time favorite game is Whack-A-Mole, or Whack-A-Decimal. When the moles pop out, you're supposed to hit them with a hammer. This is one of his favorite games, 